Hey everybody, it's a nice cool day for Minnesota. Not too humid. It's about oh, around 8.30 now, I think. Um, just gonna quick do some work in the, on a sketch and stuff. I thought I would share where I've been with my new sketchbook. So, kind of a jackrabbit type deal here, jackalope. And then some work, some, some flowers and stuff like that. Pretty much a lot of this stuff is going to be rough. I'm not really finished. Um, and this one here is just me trying to draw my hand with a repeat of the hand being drawn type deal. Some other quick sketches there. I don't know what I was working on there. Some kind of armor design for a horse. And then um, this is actually a quick sketch of a mountain cat. Uh, the cat's name is Toby. It's from uh, Big Big Cat Rescue. So um, just something I did real quick. Most of this is just graphite with a little bit of a black uh, marker. Nothing too much to say here. And here's a drawing of Boss Snickrot for Warhammer 40k Orc. He turned out pretty good for a sketch from the, their model itself. And not too much else here. That head turned out pretty good. Um, don't know what I was doing with that. Try to do a car. Not overly pleased with it, but I was just trying to build skill. And then, um, no, no, this is an exercise that I've seen done, so I thought I would try a uh, ballpoint pen and graphite. And uh, unfortunately, actually it wasn't, the, the black part was done with the Sharpie and of course that leached through on here, but no big deal. My mouse, centipede, more studies. Here's a salt and pepper shaker. I drew that at Dunn Brothers when I was sitting there waiting for play 40k with the guys and then just a bunch of quick study sketches and then here I did a little dragon sketch uh, this is all all graphite might be a little bit of charcoal here Then just uh, more rough sketches, and then uh, another salt and pepper shaker. These were at uh, Culver's restaurant. The pot of flour was just drawing from memory. And some more studies. More studies. Um, a duck. Of course, the bill isn't quite right, but it was just a quick sketch. Big cat. Uh, I tried to in, um, encompass the sketch like in an all one piece a little bit. Uh, but yeah, this is something I just did real quick while I was waiting for my clothes to dry at a coin wash. Uh, just didn't work with the paper a different direction just to kind of change it up maybe help stoke some activity and here's a, a mule got a little harness around it some more from memory studies um, 
lion. Yeah, not much to say really. Don't know if I really worked from a good reference, but um, yeah. Some flowers from memory. More studies. Goofy cat here. Um, some kind of like the way how these teeth turned out. And you can see I'm using little blue highlighters too, just to kind of add more variant to the study. Try to work on a scene here with just a black marker. Eyes. Whenever I don't have nothing to draw right off the top of my head, I always fall back to doing eyes. This is a really good study page here. Uh, all kinds of things going on. You even got a Samus suit from Rift. That's uh, a role playing game. Got a dragon, um, spear person. So yeah, pretty good, pretty good study here. And then uh, just a waterfall here. Working on our duck. And pretty much it there. Last two studies they did. Well, not studies. Um, Mountain cat, cougar. Um, and I just uh, took a picture, uh, working from a reference, and then just focusing on a small point of it, and then uh, that's what I did. And then uh, I think it was two days later, I did uh, this line from a reference. Um, both of these were from just quickly looking at reference, putting down a quick, um, you know, body of light basically kind of map out where the light and body was and then I did the rest of the shading without looking at the reference so um, here's lion again it's kind of funny I noticed that with the lions for some reason or any kind of cat the dimension for the nose really seems to be kind of a trick and I don't know if I should just go darker with the four colors just to make the face pop out more um, but uh, I've noticed that's been an issue with some of my drawings. Uh, so that's it for the sketchbook and I'm going to put the camera down and uh, open up the, the bigger sketchbook to show you some of the other sketches that I've done in here. So we'll be back. Alright so here's uh, one of the bigger sketches I have worked on. Uh, so just a, a female face and I think the actual reference that I used was probably about like that big and then I just blew it up and then I, I tend to like to crop stuff off with the paper um, overall it turned out okay um, still need to either um, hide the shape of the eye with uh, more shadow here uh, kind of tidy this up a little bit here but uh, overall it's pretty decent I think uh, I, mean, I, I really the one thing I do like a lot is the variance of the tones so but uh, there's still some more uh, cleaning up to do and really I've been doing after my first initial drawing of this um, I wasn't really happy with it because of uh, I had the pad laying down flat on the table and my reference was you know different so it kind of messed up the perspective of the drawing based on drawing further away on the, on the table and then from the front so um, stopped working on this and then now I've kind of come I've come back to it every once in a while and just uh, without looking at the reference just trying to fix it up but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the tones on this and um, I'll still continue to work on it because uh, that missing eye is kind of not so hot. Um, and I think I've showed you folks the lion. I know I've showed you the cheetah. Um, cat. I think I've showed you that too. I think the line is further up. I don't, um, 
yeah here's the lion uh, I think I've showed you this before but I I still want to do more work on him I'm not entirely happy with him and then uh, this is something I'm planning on working on next for a little bit while the sun is still or at least uh, while they're still light I think the sun's already set it pretty much behind me but um yeah and of course always my one of my favorite ones is the, the mountain cat again so just in case anybody who's watching hasn't seen that one all right folks well you know thanks for tuning in going through my sketches with me and i uh, hope you have a, a nice night take care hey everybody just wanted to I'm catching up on a lot of the videos that I had recorded on this camera and just kind of clearing them out so you can see some stuff that's probably old um, some other videos and stuff like that but uh, I'm gonna throw this on with the sketchbook video just an update on the on the drawing that I showed you of the other cheetah um, I'm pretty happy with the way how this is turning out I really trying to get more of the focus on here so I'm, I'm kind of framing it with highlights and and uh, I think I'm going to still do something with the mouth and then afterwards um, when I have this done I'm going to uh, gloss coat it and after I have it gloss coated I think I am going to use some white acrylic paint and uh, put in whiskers as, as the final touch so it will be uh, charcoal um, this basically really this had charcoal some uh, generals uh, chalk too some gray chalk uh, it's probably I think it was more in this area here because I know when I was trying to go back over with the spots uh, had a little bit of resistance because it already had a medium pushed into it and I think that was the gray chalk from generals and I made the dots a little bit bigger for the eyes since the last I don't think I had eyes on it when I showed it but um, I think I might make the dots just a little bit bigger yet on the eyes and I'm overall I'm I'm really happy with this part and I think I think it'll play in better on the drawing once I get the whiskers in because uh, from the reference it's pretty the whiskers are kind of prominent and uh, the mouth here I think I just got to kind of lighten up a little bit more in the mouth area kind of where the tongue is at and maybe I'll, I'll put in teeth I mean my reference doesn't really show teeth but I'll probably put in some teeth at the bottom a little bit and but yeah this is I don't know how many hours I've been working on this one but this has been probably longer than some of the other drawings I have done but then um, since I it's been months since I made the recording of the sketchbook so and this is just an hour here an hour there whenever I go to Dunn Brothers and I'm gonna be there early uh, I bring this along and I'll work on it but if I'm not gonna be there early then it stays here and I really haven't touched it much unless it's at Dunn Brothers when I'm having coffee so all right um, yeah so I'm just gonna quick tack tack this on to the end of the sketchbook video just to kind of show an update of this and I'm hoping to have some more drawing videos for you in the future alright thanks for watching